Hey, this is Mark Kilo Mike 6 Zulu Papa Oscar. I wanted to show you a alternate power option for the Zago uh, X6100. This is a new device for me and I'm um, having some fun getting used to it. So when you're running on internal power, as you may or may not know, you can only do five watts. Now I have a BioNO battery and that BioNO runs at about 13.6 volts. Um, the most it'll ever drop to I think is like 11 volts. And uh, right now the internal battery is operating at 8.2 volts. Now this little guy right here is a power source. And I believe this is 20,000 milliamps. Uh, let's see if there's any specs on here. Uh, I'll have to look it up. I'll, oh, there it is, 8,800 milliamps. And you can see all of the things that it can do down there. I bought this as a PoE uh, power source. So on the back of this, you've got a, um, a barrel connector that you can use for, which, which I'll show you in a second. But you also have PoE, and, and that PoE can be set to either 24 or 48 volts. So I use this for Wi-Fi uh, wi -Fi spots. For the Arden data network. Um, basically it's you know like a Wi-Fi access point and it works great for that. This runs for many hours. Uh, those things don't take up much power. So I thought I wonder since it puts out 12 volts will this thing work for the Zegu? So let's go ahead and just plug this in. Let's see what happens. All right. It's plugged in and it's powered on, and we can see here that it has changed now to 12.2 volts. Now, um, if I power off and power back on, it should change the max volts that this that this radio will allow. And we'll just see. By the way, I'm not sure that you really need to power cycle it. I think you can just add or subtract the, the power sources as you need them. But just to start from fresh, I'm gonna show you. Okay. Okay, we're still initializing right now it's it's putting out 12.3 volts and it says your maximum transmission power is 5 watts so let's go into the radio settings and then we'll click on the power oops sorry radio settings power and we'll switch this to I guess you use this one. 10 watts. All right. And accept. Sorry, doing this with my left hand. So there you go. I'm not going to transmit because I don't have an antenna or a mic, but you can see it's it's capable and it will put out 10 watts. Um, not too worried about this battery. Um, it's, it's a good battery. I've used it many times, like I said, for Wi-Fi devices. So um, it's a nice versatile device that you can use for many things. Um, I'll put a link to it. I found it on on Amazon. I'm not sure if they're still selling them there, but I'll put what I had. And you know, these are a good little power bank to have um, sitting around. A lot of power banks claim to have certain you know mega super watts. It, this one has a modest 8,800 mill milliamp hours. Um, I actually think it's a lot more than that, just based on my personal use of this device. And, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's pretty useful. Oh, by the way, you can charge your phone with it too. It's got a USB charger on the front. So three different ways to charge things. And, um, the way you charge the, the battery itself is it just an AC adapter right here. You take it home and, um, charge it up that way. So anyway, check the link below. KM6 ZPO.